Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see the next in the next game. I'm gonna give you some some more defensive ideas. How to defend the position. Here we see unusual uh, unusual um, moves in the openings. The opening. I guess most more common is this, this, maybe d5, maybe b6, and so on. Okay, but Malik played against a younger opponents, so he thought younger opponents know theory really well. A3. Trying to stop this bishop, and then if bishop goes here, then it's gonna be a standard in the Indian defense. So, uh, why did not want to allow that? D6, this is typical in this structure, and you're gonna you're preparing this push in the future, or maybe you can play d5. Black goes here with, with the bishop. Castle, castle, and now rook e8. This is interesting move because uh, white or black is preparing to do something like this. If he, if white, for example, plays this, we can play this move, and then this. And this is interesting because if he takes, we take. This knight has to move, and then we take this pawn. So that's that's playable position. Instead, in the game, it happened. This happened. D5. Now takes and knight goes goes back because from this square it's gonna go here and maybe in the center or here. And if you go here, we don't really have squares. And probably the good, not also good is this. But maybe after takes, he can push maybe these pawns or something like that. So that's why knight b8. Defending the pawn. And knight c5, rook e1, c6. This is also a nice uh, strategy overall to all, always challenge the center. Here, white has a nice center, so we are trying to crush it. Takes, takes, and here, white is better. We have these kind of weak pawns, but uh, going c6, we now this bishop is free. We have more space. We we can have maybe pressure here and along the b file and that's it. Bishop if b uh, g5. And now Malik said that he made a slight mistake, he did not see this move. Maybe it was better to play h6 right away to get rid of this pin. Instead he played that. And now it's important to take here, if he takes here, that's gonna be dangerous. The computer is saying that that's the best move, but maybe computer can play this position. And this is really dangerous. Instead, it takes here. And now it's important for, for white to play this move. If he takes, then we can play something like this. And then we are good. We got rid of this pin. And we are protecting this knight. That's why this first, we have to stay here to protect this knight. And now, 
instead of taking here then we probably would have this and we are again a little bit worse but we are hanging up there but he found a really nice move he purely saying that it's a mistake but uh, doesn't matter it's really nice move because here you see that after he takes this pawn he's gonna have queen majority here and also bishop pair so it's pretty nice position for him to play and from now on Malik has to defend rook e to b8 trying to push a, uh, put a little pressure here this is all forcing b4 and now h6 really nice move getting rid of this pin and now queen c7 protecting this putting a little bit pressure on this guy and also preparing a5 which would rid of, of this uh, rid the black from this weak pawn if you can exchange this pawn then he would have just one pawn here and then that's better for you than to have this two against one because this can this one can drop and then you're gonna have to deal with two pass one which is pretty much lost queen a5 defending actively a little bit trying to put a pressure on this guy if he ever tries to capture here and this way maybe we are creating some background issues for for white that's a nice thing to keep in mind and now bishop c5 and e4 again active defense i think if white takes here then we get rid of uh, his bishop pair and, uh, and also uh, there are some tactics in the position yeah we just he wins a pawn but no no if we take here rook d1 yeah, and, and we win this pawn so that's why it's not recommended to take there queen f4 and now this is important move because uh, queen was on this queen uh, queen was eyeing on this guy and also threatening this so if he ever plays this we can play we cannot play this because he's gonna take the rook so that's why we move that rook and now he made a mistake bishop e7 he did not see this move and again we are taking advantage of this and he has to take here we take first the rook and then the queen and one more mistake he's a little bit more and more dropping his advantage here the bishop should go on the side where you're stronger where your pawns are and maybe try to put these pawns uh knight d3 probably the better was just simple this or maybe this follow followed by this but okay that's not this is not bad either the point is if he takes here then we have this move we are attacking the bishop and the bishop cannot move because we're gonna deliver the checkmate That's why he plays this. 
push f5 and f6 also good move this pawn is protecting the knight and that he's challenging this now we push we want to exchange this the knight for the bishop then we would have opposite color bishops and then would uh, that would give us a good chance of, uh, of a draw now takes important to attack but he has a nice trick rook c1 now we cannot take the bishop because there's gonna be a check and we're gonna lose the rook and here goes a tricky tricky check where black finally made a mistake made a blunder and lost the game the better was to go here but he didn't want to get his king into the in, the in the corner but after we take check takes now nothing can stop this pawn he gave one last check but after king of eight king just is gonna just approach uh, the rook if he keeps checking and nothing can stop this new queen so that would be it guys more defensive techniques defense is really really important and underrated thing in the chess and i hope you are growing your defensive muscles see you in the next